So as you guys see, Talking Nachos is designed to help you not make mistakes in the biggest decisions of your life, decrease stress, increase success, and reduce that crying inside. I'm ready for my next guest when my team is ready to be up. Also, Yasin of Group Ups. So Yasin, you are new to the nacho community. We can't wait to meet you and learn what you do. But if someone said, if someone said, what's your name and what do you guys do to help Dennis be more successful? Hi, everybody. Yeah, my name is Yasin. Uh, we launched Group Ups. And in short, what we do is, if you think about what would happen if you went into a car dealership and you said, hey, I'm here to buy a car, you're going to get treated a certain way. What right. we do is we go into that car dealership and we say, I'm shopping around for 20 cars. Yeah. All of a sudden, the manager is treating you a certain way. You're getting way better pricing across the board on everything. And they're rolling out the red carpet. That's essentially what we do for uh, for our customers at Group Ups. We aggregate the purchasing intent on large purchases to say, hey, there are 15 startups in our network that are all buying CBT, CBCT machines, and they want to get better pricing than what they just got quoted by Shine, Benko, and Patterson. So how we go about that is we instead take that intent up front and we say, all right, now we know that there are 15 startups that are opening up in the next quarter. Let's go to the manufacturers directly and maybe go to the distributors at some point. So we, we actually completely change the supply chain model, uh, turn it on its head, and we get much better pricing. I love it. So you uh, fight for deals for dent. You fight for deals for dentists. You know what I always think, yes, and I think this is a human th human being thing. But they go, you know, that thing over there, it's really unfair. But it's just because they don't have access to it. So they say it's really unfair. DSOs get better pricing. I go, oh, but if you got that pricing, would you be happy? They go, yeah, I'd be really happy. So now oh, we're there, proof you, they would be happy. Yeah, <laughs> you would get. You have now practices of all sizes. I heard you even said startups can work with you guys. Same question to Mary. So I know this already. Saving money on things is Dennis' favorite thing, right? People love saving money. Dennis really loves saving money. But us dentists, whether it was back in my days of 2002 before Facebook, people have always come at you with, you can get a deal. This can be a deal. It could have been flyers. Now it's all online. How does this work? I'm a dental practice owner. I want to work with group ups. Walk me through this. How am I paying for it? Where do I sign up? Tell me these details. Yeah. So I love being able to explain this because doctors tend to love how we get paid. Uh, so what the large equipment purchases, what happens is, so what happens with resellers is they, the distributors that, that you're used to working with, they make more money, the higher the sale price is. So they're incentivized to sell things to you, especially large equipment for more money. The way we get paid is the more we save you off of like that it. price we get a percentage of whatever we save you. So if we save you more money, we make more money. If we save you nothing, we make nothing. So we are completely aligned and incentivized. So we are, I mean, we go to bat for, for doctors. We're fighting tooth and nail for the best deals because we get paid more. So we're economically incentivized on the large equipment purchases. I love that. And Dennis, when they sign up, are they paying like a monthly membership fee to you guys, a yearly membership fee? Is it just based on each deal? Walk them through that. Yeah, so there's there's two models. One is for the large equipment purchases. So for that part of the supply chain, that's for the that's the things that we're negotiating the big discounts on for the large purchases. That's when we find out these are things that are usually planned ahead. So if a doctor is looking to uh, expand their office and they're going to need to completely outfit new rooms and they need new new dental chairs, uh, they need new everything. That would fall under the large equipment where the only cost for that is whatever we save you, we take a percentage of the savings. So again, we're incentivized to save more. The supply side, the consumables, the ongoing costs, that is a subscription. We take no, no money from the manufacturers. We do not take kickbacks under the table payments or anything like that. It's a subscription. You unlock access to pre-negotiated discounts across the board for supplies where our subscribers are literally saving tens of thousands of dollars per year. Uh, awesome. on things like payment processing. So we've already pre-negotiated that. Based on that aggregate buying power, we've grouped that up and gotten those ongoing discounts already. So, and that's so a, the, a yearly subscription. So that seems like such a an easy, simple, and fair way to do things. You know, if I, a few years ago, we bought a CBCT, if we had you and you said, hey guys, hey Paul, I'm gonna save you $9,000. I say, great, whatever you take, it's still savings for me. And you know, I just mm -hmm. like to teach our audience something why can't you just do this on your own as a solo practitioner? Why I say, I don't need group ups. I'll just negotiate on my own. I know these answers. I have a few of them, but what are the, your answers? 
I mean, well, one of the one of the unseen costs of this is also the amount of time it takes. So we do actually have a doctor that took three months to negotiate okay. for something that he eventually saved ten thousand dollars on for a seventy five thousand dollar machine. Uh, his broker, the distributor, the middleman, they're just middlemen, gave them a certain price. It took three months of negotiating and the doctor wasn't in a rush because it was a new build. Uh, it was an expansion of a practice. And uh, he, he saved $10,000, great, I mean, great work, right? You saved $10,000, that's awesome. We, we came in the following uh, week and we had actually negotiated using three practices that were looking at a very similar machine uh, and got a steeper discount in one week. If yeah. we turned it into a $22,000 savings on essentially the same piece of machinery and it took two weeks and the, the doctors were all super happy. You know what that original doctor did that spent three months to save 10,000? He invested in our company. That's great. I mean, one of the things I just share this, and this is just, you know, dentists should learn more about this in dental school. Do the things that you know how to do working on teeth, building your practice, communicating with patients, and whether it's trying to negotiate better insurance fees, better supply fees, all these different things, it's not worth your time. And you're not even good at it. I mean, at the end of the day, you're not good at it. People do this every single day. You do this every day. People do insurance and it's hard for you. But, and, and then the second thing is not many people pay attention to a one-time purchase for someone. I mean, I'm not saying they never do, but like you said, when you come and say, I have six people who want to buy this X, Y, Z thing, they pay attention. Well, I love what you guys are doing. You're, you're making things more fair for the solo practitioner. Do you work with practices of all sizes from a startup to a group? Or can anyone work with you? We, we try to focus on independently owned practices. We don't typically work with DSOs. Uh, we don't, we do work with larger independently owned group practices. Yeah, like private practice. Have. If you own two or three practices, a private practice. Yeah, so we, we our, our intention, so uh, not to get into a, a macroeconomic philosophical discussion, but locally owned businesses are incredibly valuable to local economies. Our goal is to make it easier to build, sustain, and attain business ownership in the US to make those local economies more healthy. And DSOs, some, or I, let's not say DSOs, non-independently owned businesses in any uh, part of the, the economy tend to siphon money out of those local economies. So our target market tends to be those dental offices that are good for the local economy that don't yet have those DSO-like benefits. We bring that negotiating power to them that DSOs tend to have. We actually do it in some cases better than DSOs. That's awesome. Well, so glad to have you as a Nacho sponsor. Love what you guys are sharing. People can text groups to 215-543-6454. What do they, as a Nacho member, will they jump on a call with you guys? Do they fill out a, a form? Just tell us that before we wrap up here. Yep. So, so use code Nachos. We will immediately set up an onboard call to walk you through everything uh, to understand your practice a little better and make sure you're taking advantage of the the most valuable things that are offered to you that are uh, that you you unlock through the membership if it's premium on the supplies. Uh, but we're always down to chat. Uh, so awesome. we have a chat messenger on the bottom right that goes directly to the founders. So you'll probably get a text back from me personally. Awesome. I love it. And this is always, this is the season for sometimes big purchases. People are thinking, I'm going to get that scanner. I'm going to get that CBCT to write off on my taxes. I don't know exactly what that means all the time, Yasin, but it's very popular. People say, don't pay taxes this year. Kick them to the future. So maybe through group up group ups, you help people get that scanner of their dreams, the CBCT they've been waiting to get. Really appreciate having you here. Thank you. Thanks so much.